It's time now for a at in local sports and sports round two of the high school's class 5A state baseball playoffs that begin this coming Tuesday. Wayne County will be on the road to take on St. Pius, who won game three over Woodland yesterday by a score of two to one. Doubleheader day will be Tuesday. We'll have the time on Monday sportscasts as we're still working out the details between the two coaches today. The if game will be Wednesday at St. Pius. This is a rematch from last year's Sweet 16 matchup, which St. Pius came to Howard Bowl Warren Field and eliminated Wayne County. This year we head to St. Pius, doubleheader Tuesday. Again, all the details will be worked out today. Have the time for you on Monday sportscast. But again, the bracket is set. All our teams in our region have advanced veterans. The number four seed knocked off the number one team from Region 3 Woodward Academy yesterday in Game 3, 7-5. So veterans will play Decatur. Stars Mill plays North Springs. Harris County plays Loganville. Blessed Trinity will host Ware County. Ola and Greenbrier, Cartersville will host Coffee. Whitewater takes on Appalachie, and Wayne County heads to St. Pius. And the winner of the Wayne County-St. Pius matchup in the Sweet 16 will meet the winner of the Appalachie-Whitewater. And Wayne County located in the upper portion of the left bracket of the state tournament. And it's Wayne County-St. Pius, Appalachie-Whitewater, Coffee, Cartersville, Greenbrier, Ola, Stars Mill, North Springs, Decatur of Veterans, Harris County-Loganville, and Blessed Trinity, Ware County, the winner of the next series, heads to the Elite Eight. Wayne County golf team geared up for the state match that's going to take place at Okie Finoki Golf Club on Monday, May 16th. Yesterday they had a little tune-up match between Richmond Hill and Appling County. Wayne County blows out the competition. Team score 149. Finley Burke had a 34. Antonio Warbay 35. Brett Malloy 39. Aiden Jones 41. Jacob Strickland 42. Ashton Davis 43. The team finished 20, 20 shots better than Richmond Hill. And 69 strokes better than Appling County, who shot 218. In the girls' match, Kisland Carter shot a 52. James Stevens a 62. But again, the team score cannot score with only two golfers. Next match for the girls is Monday, May 2nd at Cartersville Country Club for the sectionals. Again, the boys' the next meet is May 16th at Okie Finoki Country Club for the Class 5A state championship. Speaking of golf, this Saturday, the 22nd annual Wayne County Exchange Club Golf Tournament. Not sure there's any room for any more teams, but you can check it out today at the Country Club. Call 427-6505. Again, that 22nd Annual Wayne County Exchange Club Golf Tournament, a 18-hole four-man scramble. Gets underway at 8.30 tomorrow morning at the Pine Forest Country Club. Wayne County High School Spring Football sits to get underway next week. It starts May 4th, runs through May 20th. Coach J. Bo Shaw held a student and parents meeting last weekend, and more than 100 kids attended the meeting as the excitement builds for the upcoming season. Here we are. Head coach J. Bill Shaw, who has assembled his staff, now starts the process of winning football games. And the Jackets coming off their worst season in school history, 0-9. Only one way to go, and that's up. Spring football gets underway next week at the high school. It'll conclude with an inter-squad scrimmage at J.C. Stadium. WIFO FM will be broadcasting the scrimmage here on WIFO FM. NFL draft get underway Thursday, round one. Rounds two and three today. The Jaguars with the number one pick take Georgia's defensive lineman Trayvon Walker. Michigan's Aiden Hutchinson goes number two to the Detroit Lions. Falcons have the number eighth pick overall in round one. They go with the receiver, Drake London, out of USC. Jaguars traded back up into the round one, made a trade with Tampa Bay, and they go get another defensive player, Utah linebacker Devin Lloyd. Only one quarterback taken in round one. Pittsburgh with the 20th pick takes the hometown kid, Kenny Pickett, at the University of Pittsburgh. So there's a member passing on the last pit quarterback they had a chance to get. That kid's name was Dan Marino. They could expect to compete for the starting job this year. Steelers looking to replace Ben Roethlisberger, who retired at the end of the season. Recreation scoreboard from last night in 8U baseball. It was the Diamondbacks 11, Marlins 8. The Blue Jays beat the Red Sox 7-4. 8U softball, it was Odom 16 and Sassy Sluggers 2. In 10U softball, it was the Game Changers 13, Hurricanes 8. In 12U softball, it was the Wildcats 8, Bulldogs 4. 12U baseball, it was the Mar. The, it was the Braves beating the Marlins 11-4, and the Yankees beat the Cubs by a score of 9-0. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports. Sports is brought to you.